ni innocent. Ni hajafanya kazi yoyote. Kusikosa yote hajaua. Kuna kitu ninaamini kuna a god of a second chance. Na atamtoa. Na ndio unaona niko na nguvu sababu Mungu mwenye ninaamini ndiye atamtoa. He is like Joseph. Joseph alidhurumiwa hivi na Mungu baadaye alimtoa. Na hata ninaamini sasa atamtoa. Wakati wa Mungu ukifika. Ni hayo tu. Sentence has been passed. We were expecting something close. We are not shocked. And let me whet your appetite. All of you remember those words. Those are not my words. Those are the words of the Honorable Lady Justice Zioki Zioka. When she was passing the sentence on you, we all remember those words. Let me whet your appetite. We affirm in our belief that during this whole process, the Honorable Lady Justice, with respect, was playing to the gallery and aiming at placating the lot of the public. And this is why we, 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 we are adamant in our belief that that judgment delivered in court completely and substantially different from the written judgment because it was made to, uh, to placate the public. Joey is innocent and at the Court of Appeal we will be vindicated. The notice of appeal is ready. We're just waiting for a little time to maybe further discuss before we proceed. But one thing is clear. The Honorable Justice built a mountain out of the clothes that Joey wore, especially those brown khaki shorts. She had to build a mountain on those shorts. Why? Because those are the only to the death of Monica Kibani. Purportedly because a drop of blood was found with Monica's DNA on those shorts. That was the only link, apart from all the rubbish circumstantial evidence. That was the only link that this court had to lay its case on. But then, were those the same shots the jury wore? The defense was Adams. Three times, the prosecution refused to bring those shots those pictures into evidence three times why during his evidence the dna expert claimed that he took pictures of those shots through the whole process but when asked to bring the pictures of those shots to court again refused why it is rather obvious our courts have always held that where the prosecution refuses to bring evidence before court, in their own possession, which might prove to be exculpatory evidence. There can only be one reason why they have refused to bring that evidence, because it points to the innocence of the accused. Joy Joseph Irungu is innocent, and we shall prove it. Thank you. Um, yes, my name is Haman uh, Omiti. I'm an advocate. Um, um, I'm here with my colleagues, Job Titus and Maria uh, Boru. I'm also here uh, with uh, my clans. Uh, George is here, he's a uh, brother to the late Monica. Uh, we were instructed by the firm of Hungary Omiti and Bush Advocates to represent the victim family. Uh, the law opts like uh, this one, and so the victims had asked us to represent them in this matter. Uh, I think it's been a very long run uh, for uh, about six years now, uh, the victims have been quite anxious. You know, when these matters is go are going on, you, you can't move on with your life. It's, uh, it's as if there's just something you keep waiting for. Uh, but finally, it has come to an end, and they um, feel that justice has been done. Of course, we uh, ask that the court can uh, give uh, the uh, sentence that uh, uh, will show that 
justice has been done and the family will confirm that they feel that justice has actually uh, been done today. Uh, and so this marks the end of this matter at this point, of course, as the court has also indicated, they, um, uh, they have a right of appeal. So in the event that they file an appeal, uh, we will be ready to deal with the appeal. I have to say that the uh, office of the ODPP has done a wonderful job in this matter and we have to thank them. It's been a good teamwork since the beginning up to this point and it has uh, now come to, uh, to the end of the matter. Uh, thank you. Uh, perhaps George can just say... George Kimani, um, brother to late Monica Kimani. And uh, on behalf of the family, I must say that we are relieved that we have come to the end of this uh, case at, at this point. So we are happy that at least now we can try and find closure and try and move on from uh, whatever happened. So we thank uh, the court so much for taking this matter very seriously. So from the prosecution side and the, the guys that handled this matter from the beginning, they did a very good job and we are very grateful, yes. I believe uh, it has been served, yes. Mm. What were your expectations? Confusing, and, um, but I expected something that would uh, show other people the same behavior outside there, that it's not right. I must say I'm happy with the sentencing by the, 